Sean Peter Raul Mendez, born August 8, 1998, is a Canadian singer-songwriter. He gained a following in 2013 when he posted song covers on the video-sharing platform Vine. The following year, he caught the attention of artist manager Andrew Gertler and Island Records ANR Ziggy Chariton, which led to him signing a deal with the record label. Mendez's self-titled debut EP was released in 2014, followed by his debut studio album Handwritten in 2015. Handwritten debuted atop the U.S. Billboard 200, making Mendez one of five artists ever to debut at number one before the age of 18. The single, Stitches, reached number one in the U.K. and the top ten in the U.S. and Canada. Mendez's second album Illuminate, 2016, also debuted at number one in the U.S., with its singles, Treat You Better and There's Nothing Holdin' Me Back reaching the top 10 in several countries. His self-titled third studio album, 2018, was supported by the lead single, In My Blood. The album's number one debut in the U.S. made Mendez the third youngest artist to achieve three number one albums. In 2019, he released the hit singles If I Can't Have You and Senorita, with the latter peaking atop the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. His fourth studio album, Wonder, 2020, made him the youngest male artist ever to top the Billboard 200 with four studio albums. Among his accolades, Mendez has won 13 Sokin Awards, 10 MTV Europe Music Awards, 8 Juno Awards, 8 iHeartRadio MMVAs, 2 American Music Awards, and received three nominations for a Grammy Award and one nomination for a Brit Award. In 2018, Time named him one of the 100 most influential people in the world on their annual list. Early Life Sean Peter Raul Mendez was born in Pickering, Ontario, on August 8, 1998, the son of English mother Karen, née Raymond, and Portuguese father Manuel Mendez. His mother is a real estate agent, while his father is a businessman from the Algarve who sells bar and restaurant supplies in Toronto. He has a younger sister named Eliad. He was raised in a religious family and played youth soccer with Pickering FC. Mendez graduated from Pine Ridge Secondary School in June 2016, where he played ice hockey and soccer, joined his high school glee club, and crafted his stage presence in acting lessons, leading as Prince Charming at one point. He also auditioned for the Disney Channel in Toronto. Career 2013-2015, Handwritten Mendez at the Jingle Ball Tour 2014 Mendez learned to play guitar by watching YouTube tutorial videos at the age of 13 in 2012. Less than a year later, he started posting cover videos on YouTube. Mendez started attracting viewers after he posted a cover from Justin Bieber's As Long As You Love Me on the social video app Vine in 2013 and got 10,000 likes and as many followers the next day. After that he gained millions of views and followers in a few months becoming well-known for his six-second snippets of renditions of many popular songs. Mendez saw Bieber as a career model at the time. By August 2014, he was the third most followed musician on Vine. Artist manager Andrew Gertler discovered Mendez online in November 2013, bringing him to Island Records in January 2014. In April, he won Ryan Seacrest's Best Cover Song contest with Say Something by A Great Big World. He officially signed to Island in May 2014. He released his first single Life of the Party on June 26, 2014. He became the youngest to debut in the top 25 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, making it to number 24 for the week ending July 12, 2014. Prior to his signing, Mendez toured as a member of the MagCon tour alongside other young Viners with a large following on social media. Mendez was also on a nationwide tour with Austin Mahone as an opening act. He released his debut major label EP in July. The EP debuted and peaked at number 5 on the Billboard 200, selling 48,000 copies in its first week. He won a Teen Choice Award in 2014 for Webstar and Music. On September 5, 2014, O oh Cecilia, Breaking My Heart, featuring Mendez was released as the fifth single from the Vamps debut album. Meet the Vamps. On November 6, 2014, Something Big was released as the second single. On April 14, 2015, Mendez released his full length album Handwritten, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart with 119,000 equivalent album units, 
selling 106,000 copies in its first week and was certified platinum. Mendez then became the youngest artist to debut at number one since the release of Justin Bieber's My World 2.0. The third single from the album, Stitches, peaked at number four on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, becoming his first top ten single in the U.S., and became his first number one on the adult pop songs and adult contemporary charts. The song later reached number one in the U.K. Also in 2015, Mendez opened for Taylor Swift during 1989 world tour dates for North America and recorded Believe for the soundtrack of Disney Channel original movie Descendants. I in late 2015, Mendez and Camila Cabello, who was at the time a member of the group Fifth Harmony, released their collaborative single I Know What You Did Last Summer. The song was included on Mendez's handwritten revisited reissue. Mendez was listed among Time's 25 Most Influential Teens of 2014, debuting in the list after being the youngest ever artist to debut in the top 25 of Billboard Hot 100, 34. He was listed in Time's The 30 Most Influential Teens of 2015, making the list after his debut album topped the Billboard 200 and his single stitches made the top 10 in the US and other countries. 2016 to 2017, Illuminate. Mendez in 2017. On January 21, 2016, Mendez made his acting debut on the CW's The 103rd Season premiered. He later announced his second world tour as a headliner, the Sean Mendez World Tour, which started in March 2016 and sold out 38 shows in North America and Europe within minutes. Mendez released Treat You Better. The lead single from his second studio album, in June 2016, I in the US, the single reached the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, became his second single to peak atop both the adult contemporary and adult pop songs chart, and was certified triple platinum. IT also went top 10 in the UK. The album, Illuminate, was released on September 23, 2016 and debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 with 145,000 equivalent album units, including 121,000 in pure album sales, and was certified platinum. IT debuted atop the charts in Canada, becoming his second number one album in his home country. Mercy was released as the second single on August 18, 2016, which entered the top 20 in the U.S. and the U.K., and was certified double platinum. Mendez released the live album Live at Madison Square Garden in December 2016. He appeared as the musical guest on Saturday Night Live, December 3, 2016. In April 2017, Mendez embarked on his Illuminate World Tour, which sold out arenas around the world such as Los Angeles' Staples Center and London's The O2 Arena. He released the single, There's Nothing Holdin' Me Back, on April 20, 2017, included on his Illuminate Deluxe Edition. The song was Mendez's third single to reach the top 10 in the U.S. and third single to reach number one on both the Adult Contemporary and Adult Pop Songs chart. I in August 2017, he became the first artist under 20 years old to have three number one songs on the Billboard Adult Pop Songs chart. I in November 2017, Mendez became the first artist to have three number one songs on the Billboard Adult Contemporary chart before turning 20 years old, an unprecedented feat since the founding of the chart more than 50 years ago. Mendez was listed among Time's The 30 Most Influential Teens of 2016 and made his first appearance on Forbes's 30 Under 30 2016 music. He topped Billboard's 21 Under 21 list in 2017, after his two albums topped the Billboard 200 and his single, There's Nothing Holding Me Back, became his fifth top 20 on the Billboard Hot 100. 2018-2019, Sean Mendez On March 22, 2018, Mendez released the lead single In My Blood from his upcoming third studio album, followed up by the second single, Lost in Japan, on March 23. In My Blood topped the Billboard Adult Pop Songs chart, making Mendez the first and only artist to have four number one singles in the chart before turning 20 years old. Youth was released on May 3, featuring American singer Khalid. His self-titled studio album was released on May 25, 2018, to positive critical reviews, with particular praise towards his songwriting and artistic growth. IT debuted at number one in Canada, making it his third number one album in his home country. It debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200, making Mendez the third youngest artist to collect three number one albums. 
Mendez performing at the concert honoring the 92nd birthday of Elizabeth II in April 2018. To promote the album, Mendez embarked on a self-titled world tour in 2019. Besides the tour, he performed at music festivals across Europe, North America, and South America. He performed at a televised concert honoring the 92nd birthday of Queen Elizabeth II on April 21, 2018. He made TV show appearances on The Late Late Show with James Corden in June, where he sang one of his latest singles each night for a week. The tracks he performed live were Nervous, Lost in Japan, Perfectly Wrong, and the duet with Julia Michaels, Like to Be You. Mendez made an appearance on the late-night talk show The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon in October and performed Lost in Japan. He, together with Fallon and the show's resident band The Roots, performed a special version of Treat You Better for the show's Classroom Instruments series. He has also performed his latest singles on the iHeartRadio MMBAs in Canada on August 27, where he received eight nominations and won four awards. Mendez starred in a documentary directed by YouTube star, Casey Neistat. The short film is part of YouTube's Artist Spotlight Story series, featuring an interview with Mendez and backstage and behind-the-scenes footage of Mendez during one of his tours. The trailer was released on YouTube on September 22 to officially announce the upcoming documentary. The documentary, Sean Mendez, Artist Spotlight Stories, was published on September 28. Ahead of the official release day, Mendez and Neistat held a previewing show of the film where selected fans of Mendez were invited. For the event. The remixed version of Lost in Japan, by Russian-German DJ Z, was released on September 27. Mendez performed the remix version of the single during the American Music Awards of 2018 held in Los Angeles on October 9. He was joined on stage by Z. Mendez was listed on Billboard 21 under 21 2018 topping the list for the second year in a row for his chart performance, having three consecutive number one albums. Mendez and Zach Brown Band were featured in an episode of the American TV program CMT Crossroads, a show that pairs a country musician with a musician from another genre. The episode was aired on October 24 and was taped a month before the scheduled airing date. Mendez and Zach Brown Band performed nine songs, where they sang parts of each other's songs and covered Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. Parts of the dialogue between Mendez and Zach Brown Band, talking about music and experiences throughout their career, were shown in between the song performances. On November 1, Mendez was announced as one of the musical performers for the 2018 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which was recorded in New York City in November and aired in December. He released a three-song remix EP on December 21 entitled The Album, Remixes. The EP includes remixes of songs from his self-titled album, such as Where Were You in the Morning, with Kay Trinata, Why with Leon Bridges, and Youth with Jesse Reyes. On May 3, 2019, Mendez released the single If I Can't Have You along with its music video. The single debuted at number two in the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, becoming his highest charting single on the chart. IT also debuted in the top 10 in Australia and the UK, becoming his fifth top 10 single in both countries. On July 19, he released the Griffin remix of If I Can't Have You. On June 21, 2019, he released Senorita with Cuban singer Camila Cabello, along with the music video, the song debuted at number 2 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart and Marks Mendez and Cabello's second collaboration, following I Know What You Did Last Summer, released in 2015. On August 26, 2019, Senorita peaked at number 1, making it Mendez's first chart-topping single on the Hot 100. The deluxe edition of Shawn Mendez was released on July 27. 2019, and includes the songs If I Can't Have You and Senorita. 2020-2023, Wonder. On September 30, 2020, Mendez announced that his fourth studio album, Wonder, would be released on December 4, along with announcing that the album's lead single, also called Wonder, would be released on October 2. Through promotional videos, intro, the first song from the album, was also released. Wonder debuted and peaked at number 18 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. On October 13, Mendez announced that a documentary titled Sean Mendez, In Wonder, which chronicles the past few years of his life, would be released on Netflix on November 23. A concert film, titled Sean Mendez, Live in Concert, was released on Netflix on November 25, 
following his first performance at the Rogers Center on September 6, 2019. On November 16, 2020, Mendez announced that the second single from Wonder was a collaboration with Justin Bieber on a track entitled Monster. The single and the music video were released on November 20, 2020. The song peaked at number 8 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. Mendez performed Monster Live for the first time with Bieber at the 2020 American Music Awards. He also performed Wonder. On December 4, the album Wonder was released, debuting at number 1 in the U.S. as well as Canada. On December 6, Mendez held a concert event titled, Wonder, The Experience, where he did a Q&A session, performed songs from the album, and talked about the behind-the-scenes of making of the record. On December 7, Mendez did an interview alongside Matthew McConaughey and performed Dream for the first time on television during his appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden. On August 20, 2021, Mendez released Summer of Love with Taney that same month, it was announced that Mendez would serve as an executive producer, via his production banner, Permanent Content, for Legendary's TV adaptation of Square Enix's video game Life is Strange. On September 23, 2021, Mendez announced that he would be embarking on Wonder, the world tour, across North America, the United Kingdom, and Europe, consisting of 64 dates and starting on March 14, 2022. At the Royal Arena in Copenhagen, he performed seven shows before postponing three weeks due to his mental health before eventually cancelling the remaining 80 scheduled shows. Mendez stated he would continue to make music and that he hopes to tour again. On November 30, 2021, Mendez announced that a new single, titled It'll Be OK, would be released on December 1. On March 20, 2022, he premiered a new song titled When You're Gone during his performance at South by Southwest 2022. Mendez voiced the title character in Lyle, Lyle, Crocodile, the movie adaptation of the children's book series by American author Bernard Weber, lending his pipes to a crocodile who only sings and never talks. The movie was released in the United States on October 7, 2022, by Columbia Pictures. An original song written and performed by Mendez, titled Heartbeat, was released as the promotional single for the movie's soundtrack album on September 23. On June 9, 2023, Mendez released What the Hell Are We Dying For as a charity single. On November 21, Witness Me featuring Mendez, Stormzy, and Kirk Franklin was released as the fifth single from Jacob Collier's album Jess Volume 4. 2024, Sean. In March 2024, Mendez announced his first solo live performance since canceling Wonder, the world tour. Having made surprise guest appearances performing with Ed Sheeran, Noah Kahan, and Niall Horan since his hiatus, he announced he would be headlining the Rock in Rio Festival by himself on September 22. In the same post, he also announced that he was working on his fifth studio album and that he can't wait to play these new songs live for you. On July 31, he revealed the album's title, Sean, and its release date, November 15. Two singles from the album, Why 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 and Isn't That Enough, were released on his birthday, August 8. To promote Sean, Mendez announced in August 2024 that he will embark on an intimate concert tour of theater shows throughout the places he recorded the album. Billed as for friends and family only, its selected venues hold between 2,000 and 3,000 attendees. The concerts will start in Woodstock, New York on August 8, 2024 coinciding with the date of his birthday and the release of the first singles from the album, and will conclude in Seattle on October 24, 2024. The set list of the shows will contain the songs off Sean, from top to bottom. Artistry and Musical Influences Mendez has mainly been described as a pop and folk pop singer Mendez has cited John Mayer, Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, Justin Timberlake, and Bruno Mars as his main musical influences. Growing up, Mendez listened to reggae music, Led Zeppelin, Garth Brooks, and country music thanks to his parents. He expressed that his second studio album was influenced by Meyer's work while his third album was inspired by Timberlake, Kings of Leon, Kanye West, and Daniel Caesar, for Britney Spanos of Rolling Stone. Mendez incorporates catchy acoustic folk pop tunes in his catalog, while for Joe Coscarelli of the New York Times, his soft, Sometimes soulful pop rock plays primarily to tweens and teenagers, but has also found traction on adult contemporary radio stations. In an interview with Clash, Mendez stated, 
I want to create anthems for people. I want to create anthems for big moments in their lives, I don't want my music to play for a few months and then go away forever. And not only that, I want to do incredible things that make a difference too. I think it's not only about the music you release, it's about the things you do while you're making the music. Brand Endorsement and Modeling Mendez signed with Wilhelmina Models in 2016. In June 2017, Mendez walked the runway during the Emporio Armani Spring 2018 show held in Milan, Italy. Mendez was wearing the Italian brand's new smartwatch, EA Connected, during the show. Ahead of his runway walk, the promotional video featuring Mendez was shown. In August 2017, Mendez launched his first fragrance, Sean Mendez Signature, a fragrance for women and men. He launched his second fragrance, Sean Signature 2 also made for both men and women in August 2018. On June 6, 2018, Mendez was announced as the ambassador for Emporio Armani's entire fall-winter 2018-2019 watch collection. In July 2018, photographs of Mendez wearing the new EA-connected smartwatches were published on social media. On February 16, 2019, Mendez announced that he was the latest brand ambassador for Calvin Klein's Hashtag My Calvin's campaign. During the 61st Annual Grammy Awards, Smile Direct Club released an advertisement showcasing a campaign between the company and Mendez with some of the proceeds going to organizations that seek to improve children's health as well as mental and emotional well-being. Later that month, Emporio Armani released a new black and white advertisement for its touchscreen smartwatches featuring an instrumental version of In My Blood with Mendez Boxing. In August 2019, Mendez announced a partnership with Canadian based food chain Tim Hortons, in which he features in a commercial and on beverage cups, followed by a partnership with Roots Canada in September. In February 2023, Mendez has been unveiled as the latest brand ambassador for America's luxury jewelry brand David Yerman, appearing alongside actress Scarlett Johansson in the brand's 2023 campaign dubbed Nature's Artistry, inspired by nature and art. Philanthropy and Supported Causes In 2014, Mendez and DoSomething.org launched their campaign called Notes from Sean, where fans were encouraged to write positive notes and leave them in unexpected places. The campaign was inspired by the lyrics to his first single, Life of the Party, and addressed low self-esteem, depression, and awareness of self-harm. They relaunched their campaign for the second year in a row in 2015, where the campaign was hashtagged online as Notes from Sean. He partnered with BlendApp with the goal of raising up to $25,000, where $1 was raised for every sign-up and positive message shared on the application. The campaign was relaunched for a third year in a row in 2016. He has also worked with Pencils of Promise, a non-profit organization that builds schools and helps raise the quality of education for developing countries, raising $25,000 to build a school in Ghana. In September 2017, after witnessing the devastation of the earthquake in Mexico City, Mendez created the Mexico Earthquake Relief Fund in conjunction with the American Red Cross and donated $100,000 towards relief efforts. In 2018, Mendez worked with Omaze to raise funds through donations to support the We Schools program, a movement aiming to support youth through educational services and mentorship. Mendez encouraged his fans to help the cause while giving the donors a chance to attend his upcoming concert tour. In September 2018, Mendez took part in the annual Global Citizen Festival held at Central Park, New York City. He performed, alongside other artists such as Janelle Monet, John Legend, and Janet Jackson, and raised awareness regarding the importance of education and children's lack of access to education around the world, particularly young women. Ahead of the event, he took to social media to reach out to Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, thanking the Prime Minister for leading the initiative for Leave No Girl Behind, a movement whose goal is to empower girls through workshops and programs, and expressing his willingness to talk more about the project. He also encouraged his fans to support the movement. In response, the Prime Minister thanked Mendez and stated, The more people we have fighting for girls' education, the better. Let's talk. In October 2018, Mendez, together with producer Teddy Geiger, released a cover of Under Pressure by the British rock band Queen and David Bowie. The single was part of a series of covers of Queen's songs, 
released in celebration of Queen's biopic Bohemian Rhapsody. The proceeds from the single were donated to the Mercury Phoenix Trust, an organization founded by Queen band members after Freddie Mercury's death, which helps fight against HIV AIDS. Queen's manager, Jim Beach, expressed his gratitude to Mendez and Universal Music Group for helping the cause. On October 20, 2018, Mendez performed along with other artists such as Khalid, NF, Marshmallow, Megan Trainer, and LMI at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles for the We Can Survive event. The event was organized to raise funds for Young Survival Coalition, in an effort to support young women who were diagnosed with breast cancer. In August 2019, Mendez announced the launch of the Shawn Mendez Foundation, aiming to inspire and empower his fans and today's youth to bring about positive change in the world and advocate for issues they care most about. On January 8, 2020, Mendez announced that both he and his Shawn Mendes Foundation would be donating an undisclosed sum of money to causes including the Australian Red Cross, the New South Wales Rural Fire Service, and South Australian Country Fire Service to help ease the strain on those impacted by the devastating fires tearing through parts of the country. In March 2020 Mendez and the Shawn Mendes Foundation donated $175,000 to support COVID-19 relief to Toronto's Sick Kids Foundation, the largest charitable funder of child health research, learning, and care in Canada Mendez and the Sean Mendez Foundation announced Wonder Grants in December 2020 and have partnered with Google to award the first set of Wonder Grants to young changemakers around the world. Wonder Grants aim to support and empower young creatives launching their projects across various fields, including music, film, education, science, environment, and technology. In January 2021, American chain of fast casual restaurants Chipotle announced its partnering with Mendez and his foundation to launch Wonder Grants supporting young innovators in sustainability, as well as a Sean Mendez Bowl on the Chipotle app and Chipotle website for a limited time in the US and Canada. For every Sean Mendez Bowl sold, Chipotle will donate $1 toward the foundation in support of changemakers, and this marks the first time Chipotle has launched a philanthropic entree on its menu. In June 2023, Mendez announced he collaborated with America luxury jewelry brand David Yerman and helped to design a woven hemp bracelet to benefit his foundation after previously announced as brand ambassador for the brand earlier this year. As part of the collaboration, 20% of the purchase price from the David Yerman bracelet will go to the foundation. Mendez has partnered with American subscription streaming service Disney Plus as a tour sponsor for his Wonder Tour by visiting children's hospitals in the U.S. Mendez also planned to donate $1 per ticket sold in North America towards his foundation's Wonder Grants program, which he would award to one youth changemaker in every city the tour visited. In March 2020, Mendez participated in iHeartMedia's Living Room Concert for America, a benefit to raise awareness and funds for the COVID-19 pandemic. In March and April 2020, Mendez participated in Global Citizen Festival's Together at Home virtual concert to raise awareness and funds for the COVID-19 pandemic. Mendez has shown support for the Black Lives Matter movement. In May 2020 he, alongside Camila Cabello, joined protests in Miami for racial justice after the murder of George Floyd and has lent his Instagram to raise the voice of black activists. On April 22, 2021, Mendez hosted a NASA video conference with the crew of Expedition 65 on board the International Space Station. The televised event covered a Q&A with students and children about various topics related to Earth Day, such as climate change, Earth observations, and general physics as well as the astronauts' experience on the space station. In June 2021, Mendez, along with several other celebrities, signed an open letter to the United States Congress, urging lawmakers to pass the Equality Act. The artists, including Mendez, said of the act that it would protect the most marginalized communities. In May 2021, Mendez joined Cabello and Bollywood actors to help fight the COVID-19 pandemic in India during its peak of cases. Mendez donated $50,000 through the organization Give India. Personal Life Mendez resides in downtown Toronto. He began dating Cuban-American singer Camila Cabello in July 2019. Their relationship sparked controversy, as both were accused of attempting to start a relationship for publicity, but Mendez insisted it was definitely not a publicity stunt, 
The couple announced their split in November 2021. Mendez briefly dated Sabrina Carpenter in early 2023. Regarding speculations about his sexuality, in June 2016, Mendez stated, First of all, I'm not gay. Second of all, it shouldn't make a difference if I was or if I wasn't. The focus should be on the music and not my sexuality. In late October 2024, he commented that he was still figuring out his sexuality. Mendez has been open about his struggles with anxiety, which he disclosed publicly in his song In My Blood. He said, I spoke to a therapist a couple of times. Therapy is what works for you. Therapy is listening to music and running on the treadmill. Therapy is going to dinner with your friends. It's something that distracts you, that helps you heal and so it just depends on what you think therapy is. I made a conscious effort to be more connected to the people in my life. I found I was closing myself off from everybody, thinking that would help me battle it then realizing the only way I was going to battle it was completely opening up and letting people in. Accolades and Achievements Mendez has received several nominations and awards. He won 18 Society of Composers, Authors, and Music Publishers of Canada, Sokin, Awards, 12 Juno Awards, 11 MTV Europe Music Awards, EMA, 8 iHeartRadio Much Music Video Awards, MMVA, 5 BMI Awards, 3 American Music Awards, 2 MTV Video Music Awards, and the Alan Slate Honor from Canada's Walk of Fame. He has been nominated for three Grammy Awards and one Brit Award.